Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if it's your first time. This video is all about my PM evening skincare routine. I want to go over the products I'm using and loving, products that I have used for years and years and years, some new products I'm trying, and the order in which I apply everything. Very quickly before we get started, you can find me on Instagram at Girl Get Glamorous, on Pinterest at Molly Gardner One. And there's always more on the blog at Girl Get Glamorous. If you find this video helpful, could you please give it a thumbs up? All right, let's get started. I'm going to start today's video with body products because I feel like I never share these. And while it's very important to deal with this skin, there's a lot of other skin. In the shower, I use, this is the Bioderma Atoderm Ultra Nourishing Anti-Irritation Shower Oil. And this is, as you can see, a giant these are the size of my head. <laughs> They're so big. This is 33.8 ounces and this entire bottle retails for only $20. I love a shower oil because I have really dry skin and this has really helped transform my skin so that it's not flaky or tight after a shower. It also dissolves sunscreen. So if you, like me, have to wear sunscreen to even leave the house, <laughs> to drive in your car, you will appreciate that because after the grimiest, hottest summer days, I hop in the shower and just rinse off and you will feel so good. I take two 60 second showers every single day. It is one of those things that amazes absolutely everyone that knows me because I am a fairly high maintenance person and I take the fastest showers. I, generally speaking, will only use the Ahava at night. I don't usually put this on in the morning unless my skin is feeling really dry. But this is the Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Body Lotion. This is the triple size. This one retails for $63. And I initially had sticker shock and then I realized that if I could buy 24 ounces of anything for my face for $63, I would lose my brain. I have this much left at this point and I have been using this container for, I want to say, three years. I actually found the triple size so I will link that below. This is the only body lotion I will use. I need to purchase the travel size because my fiance and I love to go to Las Vegas. I think. Las Vegas is one of those cities that is even more fun as you get older. I love going out for dinner. I love going to the spa and I love going out to an evening show. But all of that like pool time and spa time and the, combined with the desert leaves me with super, super, super dry skin. And the reason I'm sharing all of this is because every time we come back from a weekend in Vegas, my skin feels like it's going to fall off my body, which is why I need to purchase a travel size. But I will put this on and within 24 hours, my skin is back to feeling just so soft. And yeah, I just, I use this every single night. And my fiance did say, he's like, your skin is always soft which i think is a nice compliment i've actually also been using this after i wash my hands during this time for a, the zillionth time a day i put a little bit on the back of my hand and i sandwich my hands like this and then i make sure that my fingernails get a little bit of that lotion that way my palms aren't getting lotiony unless i need it if i do need it then i will go like you know traditional but this has kept my hands so soft during this the year of the hand wash so this is the only body lotion i will use it is amazing these are my body products i have not changed either of these for years after i discovered these it was it for me let's move on to my face pm routine now i whether or not i wear makeup i always do a double cleanse and i have been using this is the dhc deep cleansing oil this is the bigger bottle of the dhc oil it's 6.7 ounces and it retails for 28 dollars. this is what the bottle looks like normally without the holiday motif and it's just a bottle full of liquid gold literally <laughs> uh sometimes i'm like how do i have friends this is a holiday one that I purchased last year and look how much I still have left. So one thing I wanna say about that, with the DHC, I noticed that people will tend to do anywhere from two, three, four pumps and you do not need that many. 
this is perfectly designed for one pump to cover your entire face and get all of your makeup off. So if you are using two, three, four pumps, you are going to go through this bottle two, three, four times faster, one pump, and it will last you so long. I mean, I can't, I can't believe how long the bottles last me, truthfully. As mentioned, one bottle lasts me around a year, and I use this in the morning and at night. I have another one waiting in the wings with their beautiful classic green packaging which I just I love I love a simple package I think it's very classy the other thing I want to mention beyond the one pump is that this makeup remover it removes everything even the most waterproof makeup but you do need to apply it on dry face with dry hands you do one pump and then you start to do little circles all over your skin and you will start to feel your makeup dissolve when I get to my eyes I will apply the oil there last because I don't want to get too much product around my eyes or you will get cloudy eyes temporarily for 20 to 30 seconds. So I will really get that base makeup, get in these crevices around my nose and really make sure that the makeup is dissolving there. And then I will take my ring finger and just tap the oil all over my eye. You'll start to feel the makeup dissolve. You can gently rub your lashes down and it just dissolves every little last bit of makeup. It is incredible. Okay, so yeah, I think that's everything about DHC, but I do see people using more than one pump. I see people trying to apply it with a wet face, which is a huge no-no. That's how the oil starts to dissolve. There was one more thing I wanted to mention. Oh, with the DHC oil, you do need to give it about 30 seconds to dissolve. It's all soaps, all cleansers, will always work better if you give them a little bit more time to do their work. So give this at least 30 seconds to really dissolve the base of the makeup. That's what it's doing. The oil is getting in there and dissolving any of those waxes or anything that the cosmetics use as their base. And then it'll just rinse off and your pores will be so clean. Not a blackhead in sight, no trace of makeup. I have become a fan of the double cleanse. In my AM skincare video, I mentioned the Kate Somerville face wash, which I still do love. I also mentioned the DHC face wash. This is the face wash powder, and I showed how to use this there. This is my favorite drugstore face wash of all time. It's such a rich, foamy lather. It is amazing. I will say in the winter, it can sometimes be a little bit too drying. So, uh, you know, just keep that in the back of your mind. This retails for $12.50. This is how much I have left in the bottle. And I, I think, I feel like I've had this for 25 years. So I don't know how long they last you. It lasts me so long, it's obscene. In the summer, if I have a breakout, I will use this Murad, 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 clarifying cleanser with 1.5% salicylic acid. I have had this little bottle forever. I don't use this one too often because I don't really break out that often and it can also be really drying. But when I do get a breakout, I use this one, maybe two nights and the breakout is gone. I don't know, this is magic in a tube. I, I've heard a lot of people like this Murad cleanser who do have acne. So I, I don't know why it's so magic, but it is. Okay, so my latest and greatest, most favorite product is this Tatcha the Rice Wash. This is their newest face wash. It is so incredible. This is, let's see, four ounces of product and retails for $35. This is a pH neutral clean, cream cleanser of rice and hyaluronic acid that gently purifies while moisturizing. The first time I used this, like with face washes, the Kate Somerville, the DHCs were face washes that I used for, for the first time. And I was like, okay, like we've got something here. And then I've used a million face washes in between just testing out new things. And I'm always like, I don't, one and done, two, two times and done where I'm like, this isn't doing it for me. The first time that I used the Tatcha, I was like, we're on to something. It is so creamy. The rice has just the perfect amount of exfoliation. I don't really do any physical exfoliation because you know, we wipe our faces into towels. I do the zip in the morning. Like there's enough exfoliation in my life, even just rubbing my face into a towel to dry it off. So I don't really exfoliate, but this has just enough. I don't want to even say grit, but just enough texture that it exfoliates perfectly. My face feels so 
clean after I use this, but never tight, never irritated. In talking about amounts, all you need, it's such a thick and creamy cleanser, is legitimately the size of a frozen pea. I just dab that everywhere, foam it up, and it's enough for your face. So I have been using this morning and night since it came to me, and my gosh, I am completely obsessed. This is going to be my winter face wash. This is going to be my summer face wash. I mean, it's just, it's really, really, really good. I am new to Tatcha. Somebody had asked me about it in the AM skincare video and I had not used that much of it at that point. And I have been testing out more and more Tatcha and I have liked almost every single thing that I've tried and that never happens to me. The only other time that that's happened to me is with DHC. So I am just completely blown away by the Tatcha quality. Anyhow, I'm talking about a face wash like it's my firstborn, <laughs> so I'm gonna move it along. But yeah, I like this. After I clean my face, I do that double cleanse. My face feels good, it feels clean, it does not feel tight, there are no blackheads. Then I will come out. The first thing I do when I get out of the shower is my body lotion, and then the second thing I do is lip balm. This is my Jack Black Lip Balm Shea Butter and Vitamin E SPF 25. This is another product where I don't mess with it. I found this years ago, like the body wash oil and like the Ahava body lotion. I just don't mess with this lip balm. It's all I use. Now there are a few different varieties here and I purchased the Shea Butter and Vitamin E. I am gripping this one so tightly because my fiance steals these from me and then loses them. And I, I think I like single-handedly have kept the Jack Black company afloat <laughs> this year with these lip balms. It retails for $8 and it's 0.25 ounces of product. Each tube would probably last a decent amount of time, if not stolen and then lost. But <laughs> that does not happen in my home. Anyhow, about the lip balm. There's nothing else like it. Your lips feel hydrated. They're not super shiny. They're not too matte. They just feel really good. There's not really a taste. I mean, I guess Shea Butter has sort of a taste. There's not really a taste. There's SPF, it's affordable. There is nothing better. Next up is the DHC. This is the Coenzyme Q10 Lotion. I also discussed this in the AM video. This is 5.4 ounces and retails for $38. It has this, I, there's something about this bottle. I know this is such a weird comment, but I'm gonna make it anyway. This bottle and the cap are the most satisfying weight. Like, it's just, I love DHC. I tend to really nurture my skin. That's my plan. <laughs> That's my game plan when it comes to my skin. The reason I specifically love this, the DHC Coenzyme Q10 line is because it just makes my skin so bright and so dense and bouncy. It is a collagen enhancing line. I'm so terrible at explaining all of these things. Like I mentioned in the zip versus new face video, I feel like if somebody who's truly a dermatologist or science scientist tried to listen to me, they would just probably hyperventilate trying to listen to me <laughs> explain things. Even though I have a deep amount of respect for the scientific community, I can never explain anything the right way. From my understanding, coenzyme Q10 is a naturally occurring substance within our own body and it attacks free radicals. Helps preserve your collagen and whenever I use it, my skin just looks and feels really dense and bouncy. One thing I will also say is that I always make sure to get this around my neck and over my chest area because this skin right here can just get so dry. Sometimes I will get a little bit of that turkey neck, the vertical lines. Okay, so this is, this is the jam. So I don't use a toner per se, but I do use this and I put that everywhere, especially, you know, focusing on the neck to make sure that my skin stays really hydrated, bouncy looking. I have three serums at the moment that I am going in between. I don't use all of them at the same time. The first one is this DHC Extra Concentrate. It comes with five of these little containers in the box. So you do get one ounce of product total and it is $50. I have been using DHC Extra Concentrate since my early 20s and I have to say it's probably one of the most effective products I have used. I almost just said in my skincare journey. <sighs> Oof. Uh, I mean, I did just say it but I thought it and I was like, please don't ever say that again. Anyhow, this is really good. If you have any little fine lines, you put this on and then overnight they're just like, bye. Lately, I've especially been using this around my mouth because 
I'm starting to notice some little fine lines. So I've been using this around my lips. I pat them in around my eyes. I'll do some over my forehead. I'll do some around here. Another product, this one SkinCeuticals just sent to me, so thank you. This one is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic, and this is their best selling product, I think of all time. Combines proven antioxidants, vitamins C and E with ferulic acid to maximize antioxidant performance. This is one ounce and it retails for $166. The SkinCeuticals, and here's one thing I wanna show you. I, I wrapped a rubber band around this product because I am kind of klutzy and I, I tend to overcrowd my bathroom vanity. And I was so nervous about knocking this off just being a klutz. This one was just sent to me by like I mentioned from SkinCeuticals. So I used it for about a week and I definitely did notice very bright skin. It does what it says. I decided to go back to the extra concentrate just because this little vial is open and I, I used about half of it and I did not want this one to go bad. So I am definitely going to next month after this is done, give this a full go, but I really did like what I saw. This is the Cos RX Advanced Snail Mucin, Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And I'm actually almost done with this bottle. I have a little bit left. This was another product that my fiance stole from me. I had been putting it on his face when he had a little bit of, I hadn't been putting it on his face. He's an adult man. I gave it to him to put on his face. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, this stuff is really nice. I'm gonna hold on to it. And then I got the bottle back. And I when I gave him the bottle, there was probably about this much left. And that's where we're at. This is 3.38 ounces of product. Retails for $23, I wanna say. And this is a great product if you have a lot of redness. So I will let that sink in and then I move on to my eye cream. I have talked about this eye cream forever and ever and ever in every video, I feel like. This is the DHC Coenzyme Q10 eye cream. It's 0.88 ounces of product, and this retails for $39. This is my favorite eye cream, one, because of the results. I just feel like it makes the skin around my eyes so bright and dense, but also it's super sanitary. It's one of the only eye creams I have found that isn't a scoop, which amazes me. I, I don't... I don't love scoop skincare and we're about to see some scooping coming up when it comes to the night creams, but I feel like this is just so sanitary. 0.88 ounces is almost twice the size of every other eye cream. I say this in every video, but it's like, it's true. I've been using this now for five years, six years, and it's just the best. Each tube lasts me about six to eight months depending, and I use this morning and night. It is, it's just so good. I, I try so many eye creams just because I wanna test things out and really be able to tell you this is the best. And usually within a week or two of using another eye cream, I'll notice this area right here underneath my eyes just starts to look so tired. I will go back to the DHC and then again within a week I look like myself again. I cannot tell you at this point, I think I've probably purchased six tubes of this cream. It's just amazing. With the DHC cleansing oil, by the way, I realized the other day, I have been using this for over 15 years. I think I might've mentioned that in the AM, but like, that's crazy to me. I have two night creams that I'm loving. I'll start with the Tatcha because this is the newest one. This is the Tatcha, the dewy skin cream. This is just a tiny little sample. And as you can see, I've used up almost every single bit of it. So I used this for about two weeks just to test it out. And I really did notice my skin looking dewy. I would wake up and just be super happy with how my skin looked. This is a pricier item. I will say this is a more, Tatcha is a more luxury skin hair line. So this is 1.7 ounces and retails for $68. If you are looking to invest in a swanky line, then, I think you're gonna be happy with the Tatcha. I have been using, what I what I want to show you, this DHC, this is called, I'm not gonna say it right, Astaxanthin. Astaxanthin? I don't, I don't know. Astaxanthin Collagen All-in-One Gel. This is 4.2 ounces of product and retails for $49. 4.2 ounces of product is insane. So most skincare containers are actually around this size, 
but then on the inside they have another little tub and then you get 1.7 ounces of product. That's the standard size for a night cream. With the packaging you can see there's no filler, there's no inside container, it's just all filled with product. So you get so much product, it's crazy. Beyond that, this gel is really amazing. I will say, I, I tend to like all of my skincare products to just sink in and be completely weightless. And this one is slightly tackier. It does not sink in right away, but it is very lightweight and it makes my skin so bright. I use this everywhere. I use this on my face, I use it on my neck, I use it on my chest, and I even use it on my shoulders. Because I was noticing that there were certain areas of my skin, like my shoulders, that were starting to look older than the rest of my skin, and I just wanted to treat everything right. And it's just a really incredible, incredible collagen gel. So I highly recommend this. It's just a great one. I use it year round. This is, I think, my third tub of this. I cannot remember a night cream that I've just used every single ounce of product up like this. Uh, it doesn't really have, it has like, just kind of smells like a product. It doesn't smell floral, it doesn't smell whatever. It just smells like a skin cream. Like I mentioned, it's a little bit tacky, but it does fade and it's not super heavy. It still feels lightweight. I just feel it, like if I touch my skin, I can feel it on my skin. So it's not like a super bam absorbed but I have only nice things to say about this cream. I do wish that it was a pump. I wish there was a way that it could pump out, but this product is just the jam. Are the kids, do we say this? Do we say the jam still? I don't know. It's the jam. This is the DHC Olive Virgin Oil. It's one ounce of product and it retails for $42. I used to do the extra concentrate and then the oil all over and my skin looked incredible. But like I mentioned, I really do feel like it's important to bring the creams everywhere, including your shoulders, just any skin that's been exposed. I am 39 now and it definitely eventually just catches up to you, those moments where you didn't put sunblock on your shoulders when, you know, we were younger. So the whole reason I'm sharing this is because the olive virgin oil is magic in a bottle, but it is very expensive to put it everywhere. So I was flying through this stuff. So I did switch over to using this gel. It's a more economical option for me to use that gel. And then what I do now is I grab this olive oil and I dab this on the parts that I want to be really dewy and hydrated. So I'll dab this around my eyes. I will especially focus on this area underneath my eyes. I'll go over my forehead if I need it. I tend to get really, really kind of tight cheeks. I'll do the center of my neck and that way I can still use this oil without going through a bottle a month, which was getting to be an expensive habit. But this, I cannot explain to you my love of this product. I started using this when I was 22 or 23 years old. I'm 39 and I still think out of all the face oils I've used, it's the best one. DHC, DHC, DHC. I tend to, like I mentioned, I save my workouts for the evening. So I will go for a workout later, come home, shower around seven, eight o'clock at night. I will do my skincare routine then for the night and then I'll make dinner, hang out, watch TV. So by the time I go to bed, I've had my skincare on already for at least four hours. The reason I'm mentioning this is because if you do your skincare routine right before bed, you might not need to do this. But for me, I just like to do it as a last step for the evening. I'll do my lip balm again, I'll use the Jack Black, and then I will grab one of these face sprays. These are the only two face sprays where I've actually noticed a difference and improvement in my skin. Most of the time I'm like, I don't know, I just feel like I just sprayed water on my face. But these two I actually noticed a difference. The first one, as you can see, I'm almost out of this one. This is my second bottle. This is the DHC Super Collagen Mist. It's 1.6 ounces and retails for $20. I love this, I love the sprayer. I love, like I mentioned, my skin is actually plump and hydrated after I use this. I purchased one for my grandmother just to have by her chair because I feel like it's kind of a nice luxury experience to have this during the day. If you know, you're know you home working, you can keep one on your desk. But at night, it's kind of a nice way to just end the day with a mist. And then 
This is my new obsession. Again, another Tatcha product. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is 1.35 ounces and retails for $48. And I kept seeing people use this after they would do their makeup and their skin would look absolutely beautiful. But I did not realize that this is actually meant to be more of a skincare mist. So I have been doing my skincare routine like I mentioned and then before bed I'll just gently spray a little bit of this all over my face and I wake up and I'm like da -da -da -da, like JLo youthfulness and glow uh, and I am really really impressed with this as a skincare product I'm blown away so this has been a new find for me and the Tatcha is definitely like I mentioned more of a high-end price point but I do think that the quality of the product backs up their prices that is everything my 67 step p.m. skincare routine <laughs> um oh one more thing I want to talk about I have been using this pillow lately now this is called this is a giant thing I don't know how I'm going to show it to you this is called Sleep and Glow. I wanna take the pillowcase off and actually just show you the pillow. It has these little indents that are cut out around the sides so that you don't mush your face up. Your face just rests between it. Please disregard the color because I have been tanning a lot this summer. My self tanner has stained it a little bit, but you can see what I mean about these cutouts right here. So when you go to bed at night, I actually don't sleep on it this way. I, I tilt the pillow down a little bit and I'll tuck my face in and you can see how it's not smooshing my eye up. If I was just on a traditional pillow, you can see how it would smoosh the skin right there. So I was getting those trows underneath my eyes because I'm a side sleeper and as much as I try, I can never be a back sleeper. I just can't do it. So if you are a side sleeper, you might want to think about investing in a pillow like this because you can see it has it on both sides. It really has made a big, big difference. And it comes with this pillowcase. The pillowcase fits the pillow so that you get the full benefits of these cutouts. I do want to tell you that the pillow is a little bit pricier. I think it's, I want to say it's around 160. It is memory foam. Memory foam is always so expensive, I've noticed, by the way. High quality memory foam. And I will say, this is a really, really nice quality. Sleep and Glow sent me this pillow as a PR gift, so I do appreciate that. But this is not sponsored. I hope that makes sense. This was, this was a PR gift, and the mention of it in this video is not sponsored at all. I just did genuinely really like the pillow. But they also sent me a code for $10 off. I think that'll work for like free shipping and that sort of thing. So use that if you're thinking about getting the pillow. That will all be listed below. All that information is going to be in the description box and in the comments. I'll pin it there as well. It took me about two weeks to get to the point where I was really comfortable with it. The first week or two, I sort of felt like I am not used to memory foam. So I guess if you're used to memory foam, maybe it will be an easier transition. And then I tried to sleep on a regular pillow once again, and I, I could not do it. It was so uncomfortable and I just so dearly missed this sleep and glow pillow. So if you are a side sleeper, I highly recommend investing in this because it has made such a difference in the skin around my eyes. I don't get those little crisscrosses anymore from mushing my face at night. I really feel like it has helped the skin around my eyes quite a bit. Okay, now we're really done. I'm going to show you this the next morning so you can see what my skin looks like when I wake up. It feels like an important thing to share with you. <laughs> maybe it's not, maybe it is. Good morning. <laughs> I have not even had my coffee yet, but I just wanted to show how my skin looks when I wake up after doing this PM routine. It's just really smooth, I think, from the combination of the collagen enhancing products and from the oil. So let's go in close so you can see it all. I just really especially love how adding that little bit of oil really smooths out and plumps around my eyes. I really get that glow. I wake up and my skin just looks exactly how I want it to look when I wake up. The skin around my eyes is really smooth, really glowing. Just overall, I'm happy with the texture. And one thing I noticed about that pillow is that it also really helps. Like I can get creases right here, you can see. If I mush my face up, 
like with the traditional pillow, but I've noticed that this pillow has really helped me so that when I wake up, my under eye area is really smooth right here. I hope all this makes sense. I am not a morning person. So I am going to go get some coffee. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. 17 hours of skincare with Molly Gardner. I just, I don't know, I just love talking about skincare. I love talking about, like, I am not the scientist. There are so many good YouTube channels with dermatologists and scientists who tell you the ingredients and what they're doing. I am like your friend who just tells you the results. You know what I mean? Like, I love the results I get and I could talk about skincare results and texture and all of that forever and ever and ever. So if you came along with me on this journey, thank you. I do, I do appreciate it. We're skincare, skincare buds. Whew. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. This video is going to be like a Netflix series by the time it's done and a pea size amount. Wow. Ah! I just dropped one. Nomical. One pump. Um, wow.